Hello. As the summer draws to a close, I want to take the time this week to reflect on a few of the fantastic events in Jersey this month and on how lucky we are to call this island our home. So this week, our island once again played host to the International Air Display, showcasing an incredible variety of aircraft in the UK's largest free air show. And meanwhile at sea, the Jersey Regatta last week brought a wealth of colour to our shores and the upcoming Condor Ferries Dragon Boat Festival promises to once again be a huge success and it's always a fun event and does great work raising money for Jersey Hospice Care. With such amazing events coming up in our seas and skies, it's also worth remembering how our island excels on land as well. Last weekend we celebrated Jersey's diversity with the fifth annual Channel Islands Pride Parade. This year's parade was the biggest one yet, so a huge congratulations to all the organisers. Local restaurants were celebrated this week when the 2020 Good Food Guide announced the Channel Islands are as the best region for food in the British Isles. The guide includes 16 restaurants from Jersey, Guernsey and Sark amongst the UK's top places to eat and I'm pleased to say that 11 of these are right here in Jersey. Many of our restaurants and hotels use ingredients from right here in Jersey which may be locally sourced but are deservedly world-renowned. So a congratulations is also due to our agricultural sector. One ongoing event which has brought together businesses and families alike is the Go Wild Gorilla Trail hosted by Durrell. Durrell has run a great campaign in support of the fantastic work done by their Wildlife Conservation Trust and I know that my family, for example, has thoroughly enjoyed finding each gorilla so far. Durrell has, over many years, committed itself to protecting species the world over from threats such as hunting and deforestation but they've also protected species close to home with the Birds on the Edge programme, which was worked hard to protect Jersey's coastal habitat and local wildlife. The Government of Jersey is also committed to this project and to cherishing our island's natural beauty. And that's why we've made a commitment to protecting and valuing our environment as one of our five flagship priorities agreed by the State's Assembly as part of the CSP. Earlier this year, the State's Assembly also voted to declare a climate emergency recognising the risks posed by global warming and ecological destruction. In accordance with the Assembly's decision, the Government has committed to ensuring Jersey is carbon neutral by 2030, a full 20 years before the UK plans to reach the same goal. And to this end, we've pledged to allocate an initial £5 million to a climate emergency fund next year. Now, it may seem that the efforts of an island as small as ours are but a ripple yet they form part of a broader current in the global efforts to combat climate change. And we are determined to do our small part in this endeavour because, as Gerald Durrell observed, there is no first world and third world, there is only one world for all of us to live and delight in. So we must do our part to protect it. Thank you.